The international collaborations that we have, particularly between Southern Africa and France, but also we have collaborations with Australia and, and uh, the United States, for example, they're particularly, they're particularly strong ties with France, are very, very important, uh, not least so that we can learn the, the new techniques, but also we find we can expose our international colleagues to uh, things that are going on here. It, it's mutually beneficial, it goes both ways. It's not necessarily the most important thing, but of course funding is a very big thing. And so with EU grants we can afford to bring European scholars over here, we can send students and, and scholars, African students particularly, uh, from here over to Europe. I had a student that I sent to a uh, big international conference in Turkey uh, a couple of years ago um, where she was able to pick up on and learn all sorts of things about uh, rock art heritage management, how to look after things like this. And so, yeah, it's a continuous collaboration and it, it's mutual, it goes both ways. I mean, not, not, only, not only do we have these, you know, important international collaborations between scholars, but a lot of these guys are our, our close friends. Cards, oh, magnifique, it's, it's fantastic. We're very privileged to have it come to this country. I know it's been traveling the world, and before that it was in China, and before that it was in Japan, and this was the next stop, and this is the only stop that it's going to make in, on the African continent. And uh, I think it's appropriate, because we have rock art here but of course there's rock art throughout Africa and hopefully in future the same exhibition and other and others will be able to travel throughout the African continent but while it's here we're very privileged we're lucky to have it for so long I think it's uh, is it four months uh, it may it may actually end up being longer um, and it's a perfect because Lasco is so famous it's so well known worldwide we hope that it's going to draw a lot of visitors and bring attention to the rock art that we have here. Having the, uh, having the African rock art addition to it helps to contextualize it and um, I think helps South Africans understand that um, this stuff is important, that it has incredible antiquity, that some of the things that they are seeing in that room were made before humans, modern Homo sapiens, left Africa. Uh, modern symbolic uh, thought was happening before before modern humans left Africa, and all of those sorts of things that bring us all together and make us all make us human.